This reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexheights. I would like to thank Identitech, TFG, David Mannion, Mark Ventura, Kurt David, Zajac, Will E, Steve Aldersley, Jason Bates, at Hot Girl Video 69 on Twitter, Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, Andres Glacial, Ray Schuster, and Jabber for sponsoring this video, supporting me, my family, the channel. I appreciate it immensely, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Woo-wee. Welcome, everyone, to the final Sonic Youth album that we will be doing on this run. Very excited to do this, uh, not necessarily because of the album in particular, but because I'm just so ready to be done with Sonic Youth and moving on to a new artist. That usually happens even with artists that I like, um, like Cocteau Twins, whatever it might be. Just because I like the the feeling of moving on to a new artist, it's always very exciting, and we're going to be going back to David Bowie soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and then we'll be just in an awesome trajectory of uh, REM, Pixies, Elliot Smith, tons of great stuff. So uh, very excited for that. I have not done my follow up for um, well, I did do my follow up for Murray Street actually. So yeah, we're all caught up on Sonic Youth. It's the Dinosaur Jr. poll album that I did not do a follow up for. So, uh, so far I've done a good handful of Sonic Youth albums. You can go watch those, watch the follow ups. Uh, and now we are going to be culminating with this last one for this run. Of course, uh, I got to plug this in case you didn't know, uh, patreon.com slash Alex Heights for $5 a month. You can get access to unedited reactions from Modest Mouse going forward. That's April of 2021. Uh, that's about 35 full album reactions unedited. Um, $5 also gets you a shout out at the front of the video. So everyone who got a shout out has access to these unedited reactions. If you don't want to jump in at that level, a dollar a month also supports the channel, gets you access to voting in polls that we do every two to four albums through these artist binges, kind of breaks up the monotony and kind of gives us a chance to try some like fresh stuff every now and then. So if you uh, feel like supporting the channel, uh, patreon.com slash Alex Heights would be the place to do it. All right. Sonic Nurse. Um, this is two years after Murray Street. We still have Jim O'Rourke on the scene. Um, I don't know if I said this in the follow-up for Murray Street or not, but I I enjoyed Murray Street quite a bit. Um, I would say it's in my top three Sonic Youth albums, personally, along with probably Daydream Nation and Evil, uh, as it stands. Um, yeah, just a very mature rock album uh, that's still quite noisy, but it's a way more focused album than most I had heard before it. Uh, so this is just kind of classified in this similar vein um, noise rock, alt rock, indie rock, experimental rock, all that jazz, uh, except for jazz. There's no jazz on this album to be seen. Um, 10 tracks, uh, just a nice round hour long album. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say, so I think we're just going to hop right on into it with the first track, Pattern Recognition. Okay, um, we're off to a similar start as Murray Street. Um, very, uh, they were kind of like toying with this sort of sound on Washing Machine with the title track off that album. Um, like, 
it's not fully no wave, but it leans in a very dissonant direction. Um, it's it's good. It's good. It's I mean, it's I don't I don't quite know how it would match up with some tracks off of Murray Street as far as quality, but like I found it to be kind of compelling and more or less focused. Uh, let's keep going. Unmade bed. so weird to hear like somewhat straightforward um song structures from sonic youth like you you would think that like a band like when they were younger would start with like the more accessible uh typical song structures with a more pop format and then lean into the more like experimental stuff as they grow older but they did like the exact opposite but in some way, it feels like starting with the rough stuff, maturing into more basic songs, it somehow works. It's it's really bizarre because, like, I remember listening to, like, The Diamond Sea um, and then obviously a few songs on uh, Daydream Nation kind of had that basic alt-rock structure. Um, I think it was it Tough Gnarl from sister kind of had it as well it um it just works it's really it's really good like the diamond sea has like a super catchy chorus to it um yeah, it's just good it's good uh we're two for two so far um i wasn't expecting to love this one because i it's a somewhat divisive um i don't think people like dislike it a lot just there's just a lot of people who like think it's middle of the road and then there's some people who think it's quite good um but as of right now, this is as good as Murray Street for me. So, cool. Dripping Dream. Not bad. Not bad. It was um, maybe a tad long, just like ever so slightly, but um, almost as good as the other two tracks. Um, nice little chord change up there at the end. Um, yeah, it, this is just, this is like, it, it has just enough friction. It's accessible, easy to listen music, easy to listen to music that has just enough friction to it to keep it exciting. Um, like this is my preferred type of Sonic Youth, I think. Um, not to say that any of their previous music wasn't impressive. It was just like not easy to listen to. And I know that people like a challenge. Some people like a challenge with music and that's maybe why they come to Sonic Youth. Um, but that's not what I like <laughs> with music. So this is way more up my alley. Uh, all right. Kim Gordon and the Arthur Doyle Hand Cream. 
Well, hold on. I think I accidentally played it too fast. There we go. There's always one. <laughs> There's always one. Um, I mean, it's like they're entertaining songs, the like crazy Gordon led ones. Um, but it's it's just like it it's so like messy, and it's like the uh, this is basically the what was it Plastic Sun from the last album? Yeah, Plastic Sun, where it's just like always got to have one, always got to have one. Some people that's probably their favorite song on the album. For me, I'm just like. Right, well, let's keep going with stones. Again, not a bad one. Uh, probably, I don't know if it's as good or slightly better than Dripping Dream. I don't know. Still like a tad long uh, with seven minutes, but like I wasn't necessarily bored. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, nothing really remarkable to say about that one, though. It was just right, 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 solid right there, down, the, down, right down the line. Dude Ranch Nurse. <laughs> That was an interesting one. Um, very dissonant and uncomfortable in some ways. Um, but like it, it did exactly what it needed to, to be effective. I think like not, not a personal favorite for me, uh, as far as like what I like from Sonic youth, but, uh, fine song, fine song. New Hampshire.
I like that one quite a bit, actually. It might be one of my favorites. Um, you might hate me for saying this because it's one of the most basic ones on here. Um, like that was just, I think, a really solid alt rock track um, with good riffs, slightly off kilter with a little bit of that friction like I talked about. Uh, yeah, very solid. Yay, Paper Cup Exit. bad i like the uh i like the the what would you call it not really the riff work but the the guitar work on here was pretty good uh the composition was good it was compelling um yeah i mean there this album's actually been fairly solid surprisingly i was expecting it to be like maybe a little messy um but it, it's still been focused it's uh there's been a couple like uh arthur doyle and dude ranch where i'm just kind of like yeah. Also, Stones and Dripping Dream were, I wouldn't say duds, but just were like a little too long, maybe a little too bloated. Um, but these last couple, New Hampshire and Paper Cup Exit, have been, mm, that is alt rock. All right, we have another long Gordon track, I Love You Golden Blue. Let's see what we got. This album has been way better than I thought it was going to be. 
um, I felt like it was just going to be kind of like a, I wouldn't say like a, a descent into like messiness and then the band would break up, but I don't know. It just like from first glance, it just doesn't seem like an album that would like work, but it's been pretty solid. I mean, that was like a really nice kind of heartfelt track. It wasn't anything like the other two long tracks on the album. Uh, I like the little riff in there. Very nice. Peace Attack. Final track. Let's go, everyone. Oh, my inversion has a bunch of silence for some reason. It's all done. Okay, Peace Attack. Um, not a bad outro. Very, probably like the calmest one on the whole album, really. Uh, very approachable. Uh, good, good. Sonic Nurse. It is complete. We are done with Sonic Youth. This was a nice way to go out, honestly. Um, I don't know if I would say that this is like my favorite Sonic Youth album. Um... But it's probably, it's competing with Murray Street, easily. Could be top three. Um, like I said, Dripping Dream and Stones were maybe a tad long. I Love You Golden Blue, I didn't mind being kind of long. Dude Ranch Nurse was a bit weird. Um, like, Pattern Recognition was much more Murray Street-esque. Unmade Bed was good. New Hampshire Paper Cup Exit and I Love You Golden Blue were probably my three favorites on the album. I really like New Hampshire. Uh, and Peace Attack was solid as well. I don't really have, like, all that much to, like, critique or, like, dislike here. Um, surprisingly, it, uh, it's way more solid than, uh, it has any right to be with that kind of album cover. <laughs> uh, not that the art is bad, it's just, you know, like, bad font choices, like, really bug me in, um, in cover art. And, uh, this one is, like, a little, oh, okay, all right, I see it. I mean... Mid 2000s were not kind on people for cover art choices. Let's put it that way. But anyway, uh, good album. Uh, glad to be done with Sonic Youth, though. Nice way to go out. And I'm eager to come up with uh, go back to David Bowie next. Be done with Sonic Youth. Uh, finally, for now at least. Anyway. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Things to plug, of course, yet again, patreon.com slash alexheights. If you want to support the channel, you can head on over there to do it. Uh, $5 a month, unedited reactions and shoutouts. $1 a month uh, supports the channel and uh, gets you access to voting in the polls. Then also the Discord. Link in the description for that. Got about 150-ish members over there. It's just continually growing. Nice little community of people. Uh, who do music recommendations, topster charts, music discussion, uh, memes, controversial topics. It's all on there, man. We, we got it all on the Discord. Um, anyway, that's it. I think that's all I have for everyone. Nothing to update on as far as I can tell or think. Uh, yeah, next week we go into um, David Bowie. Uh, so I'll tell you the albums that we're going to do here. Uh, Space Oddity, Diamond Dogs, then a poll album. Young Americans, Let's Dance, another poll album, then Earthling and Heathen. Uh, that's going to be six albums we're going to pick up on our run through David Bowie a second time. I've already done, I think, 12 David Bowie albums, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so if you want to check out the channel, 
look through the channel you can find all those to prepare for uh the next binge or you can just wait until i'm done and then do them all in order or something i don't know uh but yeah that's what's coming up next and after that pixies rem elliot smith talk talk jeff buckley my bloody valentine nirvana chameleons yola tango nick cave depeche mode kate bush just keeps going got tons of good stuff coming up so stay tuned for that everybody that's all i have for you so until next time thank you for watching and godspeed